Well, as we wrap up Hispanic Heritage Month, we introduce you to a Midland man who broke barriers with the Midland Police Department and has become a staple in the Permian Basin community. Alex Camarada has his story. Isidro Trevino, better known as Sid, has called Midland home for nearly 70 years. But before moving to West Texas, Trevino served his country as a teenager. I was in the military first in 1946, 47, 48, during the, right after the Second World War. And I was to, had my military, military training in California and New Jersey. And after that, they sent me to Germany as occupational forces. And I was there for three years. After those three years passed, Trevino returned back to Texas, where he went to school, earning himself an education, which led to an historic career opportunity, becoming the first Hispanic police officer in the Permian Basin. During that time, that's when the Midland Police Department were looking for a bilingual officer. So through the employment office in Midland, they went down the line and they finally contacted the employment office in South Texas. And that's how they got a hold of me. Trevino remained on the force for 10 years, from 1953 to 1963, starting out as a patrolman and then quickly rising the ranks to detective sergeant, detective captain, and eventually assistant chief. But at a time of racial tension, Trevino faced some backlash for his early success. Being bilingual, you know, we had some of the uh, white officers, you know, they were kind of jealous because, you know, I was kind of young and and there were some older police officers and they wanted to be, you know, they wanted to be the captain or the chief of police, you know. So uh, I had my obstacles that I went through with them. You could see the resentment, you know, in some of the officers and mainly because I was Hispanic and they were older and had many more years of experience, but they didn't have it up there. After Sid left MPD, he stayed in the tall city and went into the restaurant business, opening up the Granada Club for 33 years before meeting West Texas businessman Clayton Williams, who offered him the job as chief of security of the Claydesta office building. He's the one that owns the, uh, uh, one of the old companies here in town. And he and I became friends years ago because he ran for governor at one time when one of the officers, uh, when he had a vacancy as the chief of security for the company for Clay Desta, he offered it to me and I took it. At the age of 93, Trevino is now fully retired, but don't let the age fool you. Sid still feels good and is ready to fill out an application to work another job. Just sitting home doing nothing, uh, that's not for me. And uh, so, but uh, if you have an opening, I'll go to work for you. <laughs> <laughs>